What's up everybody? I'm Michael Christ, three years running top seller at ShineOn, now head of marketing at ShineOn. And before we get started in today's video, I just wanted to thank you for checking out our YouTube channel. If you like this kind of content, I want you to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and I hope you enjoy the video. Okay, so we're gonna create our first product here. I'm gonna show you guys how to do this. Which product should we create here? Anybody have any favorites out there? What product should we create? So it's a mother to daughter product. So interlocking is good. Infinity hearts is good. Sweetest hearts. The little hand stamp thing is pretty good. The giraffe is really good. The giraffe is not going to fit super well with my design though. Because it's so, so tall. Sheila says a giraffe. Of course, the first, the first option. Infinity, <laughs> everybody wants a draft. This isn't going to work super well at the draft because uh, if you look at the design, the draft is going to fall right on top of the, the phrase, and that's kind of a no-no. Richard says interlocking hearts. I might go with Richard just because I like interlocking hearts. Tracy said love knot. Let's do the love knot. It's kind of pretty. Okay. All right. So for this part, just for the upload, I am not going to show that to you. Hang on. We'll come right back to that. Okay. So there's our design. Looks decent. Again, I made this in 10 minutes, guys. So, you know. Whoa. That looks pretty good. I kind of want to bring daughter up a little bit just so it's not being covered up by the chain. But it's not, it's not too bad. It just... Personally, I, you know, I probably would go back and fix this, but this actually looks pretty freaking good. Let's read this phrase one more time. Just to make sure we don't have any uh, typos or anything like that. Our relationship is a special bond that spans the years through laughter, worries, through laughter, worry, smiles and tears, a lifelong friendship built on sharing hugs and kisses, warmth and caring mother and daughter. Our hearts is one, a link that can never be undone. Love your mom. I think this looks pretty good. All right, so call this one to my daughter. I'll run some ads to this too, by the way. Not right now. Um, I can't get in my ad account live on the stream, but I can uh, certainly this week maybe run some ads to this. To my daughter, and I'll just call this one. I usually like to reiterate the punchline kind of in the title. So heart is one. It's probably a good one. And then I'm just going to call it necklace. So I... Look, this is how I like to do my titles. You can do a bunch of different things here. You can use your titles as headlines. You can use it to drive urgency or scarcity, to emphasize your offer. There's all kinds of things you can do with the head, the title. This is just how I like to do it. I like to put who it's to. I like to put the punchline of the phrase, and then I like to put the product category. In this case, it's a necklace. Now, for the actual product copy, whenever I'm testing, I just leave what China gives us uh, right out of the gate. And then for the price, I also always leave the price right at what Shine On gives us here. Now, notice my base cost, you know what, I'm on the highest pricing tier. Your base cost is going to be a little bit lower. However, you're going to be able to do at least a three and a half times markup, three, three and a half times markup on all these products right out of the gate. Some of these will even have a four to five times markup. So the margins on these products, it, it sure beats the crap out of what you get on selling t-shirts or something else okay so you could add your facebook pixel right here if you have a special pixel that you want in the daughter niche you could add that right here you can add your google analytics id if you have a special one right here we're going to select our niche we're going to choose gift for daughter and this is optional i'm not going to fill it out for this one and now you can put your url handle right here and i'm just going to put i like small clean url handles there's all kinds of stuff you can do here. Uh, I don't know that there's any real rhyme or reason to it, but I think the big thing is you don't want one that's super, super long. What I like to do is I like to kind of abbreviate my title and everything. So I'm going to put TMD for to my daughter. By the way, this is something I just made up on the fly one day. There's probably better ways to name your URL handle. The URL handle this is just what I've done. And I'm going to put TMD and I'll put like hearts. There, good, happy. All right, now I'm going to click publish. Look at that too. See this mock-up here with the, oh, that's looking good. We're going to come do the mock-ups here in just a second. We're going to let that load for a minute. 
So it takes a second because the products go into a queue and then it'll take maybe a minute or two for it to publish. Um, sometimes a little bit longer, especially during peak hours, but usually within a few minutes, it's out. So let's go over some questions here, if there are any, while I wait for that. Alluring Beauty would look great on the purple. Love Knot looks pretty good too. Good to know I have not gone in to look at the draft yet. The draft is beautiful. It's just, it's a big item. So you got to put your phrase on the, the left, right, and then kind of at the bottom on it. All right, let's go see if our product is ready yet. There are some questions in here. Um, I will come back to these here in just a little bit. All right, let's go to the product. There it is. Okay, here's my product. The, uh, the mock-ups here are going to be sweet. So first of all, this one here with the purple ribbon is pretty freaking cool. Um, I didn't plan that. It just came out that way. But I'll show you guys the rest of them. So if I click add more images right here, it's going to show you a bunch of additional mock-ups. And if I click load more, it shows you all the mock-ups we have available for this particular product. Now, if I click render all, it'll actually go in and it will add your artwork to all of the mock-ups. So you can kind of see what it would look like in the actual mock-up. Now, I will tell you, I'm, um, <clears throat> I've kind of changed my, my thoughts on what I think are the best kind of images to have. I, I've been going with simple images and only a few of them as opposed to many. So what I kind of like to do is go with two kind of mock-ups with the message card and then one standalone of the actual product itself. So on this one, for example, I'd probably keep, I'm probably going to get rid of this one. Now, the reason I do this, it's kind of twofold. One, I think the page loads a little bit faster. And two, I just feel like people can kind of get lost shopping around the mock-ups. This is pure theory on my part. It's just what I've been doing, and it's it's been working well for me. I'm going to get rid of this one, too, even though I love that purple ribbon in the background. It looks really good. Get rid of that one. I'm going to rearrange what I've got here. So I'm going to bring the this kind of dramatic black one um, into the middle. So it's right here now. So now I've got this kind of standard like vertical one kind of in the front. Then I have this more dramatic one is uh, image number two. Then I have a picture of the necklace hanging over the fingers for number three. And then for my default, I want this one. So I'm actually going to run ads. Let me show this to you in the store. I'm going to run my ads with this image here. The reason I do that is because I did a poll recently on this image here. Now this image here has worked for me pretty well in the past. It's got this dramatic kind of look and feel to it and there's shadows hanging over it and it's it's good. And you can make sales with this. I've done it before. There are a lot of people I know that have. But however, I've been testing with this one and it's doing pretty well in my tests. And here's what I think is going on, but I'm not certain. I ran a poll. Well, one day I was just in the course of my day doing work on Shine On. And I just noticed that every time I came to this particular image, I'd tilt my head to read it. And it got me wondering like, who, if everybody does that. So I did this poll and I asked people uh, if they have to tilt their head when they read this. And about 50% of the people came back and said yes, and some people didn't. Now, I don't know that this has to, you know anything to do with anything, okay? Like I said, I have made sales with this particular mock-up. I know many people that do really well with it. However, I got to thinking about it and I was like, you know, if you are in the older age bracket, like let's say you're selling a, a product that's uh, two granddaughters, for example, if you're in the older age bracket and you know maybe you, your eyesight is faded and you, you're wearing reading glasses or something and you see this product and you have to tilt your head to read it, you know you might be shooting yourself in the foot by using this particular mock-up. So I have started to opt for this one and I'm doing, I haven't seen no dip in sales or anything like that. This is just one that I've been going for. So I definitely recommend though, if you're new starting out, you need to go with this one or this one for your ads. This one looks real dramatic. It raises the perceived value of the item. Probably fantastic for like your romance niches and things like that. I tend to prefer this one, especially for like the gifts to granddaughters and things like that. 
What's up everybody? Michael Christ here. I want to thank you so much for checking out today's video. Before you leave, make sure you like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Check out all the links in the description below, particularly the link to register on shineon.com and also the link to our Facebook group where we are constantly sharing marketing tips and tricks to help you take your e-commerce game to the next level. So once again, I hope you enjoyed today's video and we'll see you in the next one.